morning everybody I've got my uh, bedding for the truck and towels for the floor starting to get the truck ready to go today when I'm filming this it's Saturday and I have to head back to work tomorrow evening picking up a load first thing Monday morning so vacation has been great I have today yet but I've got a lot to get done that I've been putting off these last two weeks <laughs> got a lot to get done so it's gonna be a bit of a busy day. I'm gonna head to the truck, get old blue all ready to go, do a couple of repairs on it, and uh, pretty much get it ready, and then come back here and mow the lawn. Before we get going, load up the pickup, I just want to come outside here in the backyard and take a quick gander, a quick look at our new fence. I just got done yesterday, if you saw yesterday's video, look at that, wow, and once we get rid of all these weeds in here and get this lawn mowed, man, oh, left these out here yesterday garbage screws. Cannot leave those flying around. Good thing we came out to check. Look at that. Oh, Myrtle, what do you think? What do you think? So we went to our local arborist or our local uh, greenhouse or where we bought the tree. Uh, they are the tree experts. And we told them about the uh, black spots. I'm wondering if it would be black canker. And apparently, uh, we shouldn't worry about it too much. That it's not going to kill the tree. So as long as it keeps growing, we should be alright. And it's grown a lot. Like these branches, they've gotten a lot, lot longer. Look at those. Those are touching the ground already. And when we planted it, they were like a foot off the ground. And these guys up here. All the way up there, they're coming all the way down here already. They'll be touching the ground sometime. Probably next spring. But it has been growing a lot still. So. That is our tree. We call it Myrtle. In reference to Harry Potter. Moaning Myrtle. It's a weeping willow. It's always so sad. Okay. There we go, it's looking good, looking good. It's still here. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, okay, lots to get done. I also have a dentist appointment at 1 o'clock today. Ugh. Like usual, my life, I feel like my life is just run, 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 run. Always in a rush, always in a rush. And I feel like I never catch up. No matter how fast I run, no matter how hard I try. It's just the other side of the scale keeps getting heavier and heavier and I just can't keep up. It's, you guys ever feel like that too? It's, it's mostly my fault though, because while I've been on vacation and holidays here, I've been taking it pretty easy. And I've been procrastinating on a lot of stuff. So really, it's not that stuff is getting heavier and heavier on the other side of the scale. It's that I've been taking it easy and pushing it down the line. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Well, tomorrow has arrived. All the tomorrows have arrived. I only have today left and I have to leave on a trip tomorrow. So all of the tomorrows that I have been pushing off stuff to do till, if that makes sense, that, that tomorrow is today. Hello, old blue. Still looking shiny, still looking pretty. How you been? Yeah? Still doing good? Still doing good? Fantastic. All right, so the thing I need to repair before I leave again, or at least I need to get a, a grip on here, is this. These uh, boxes, they need new washers on the inside of it. The washer's pulled through. So I need to, uh, I just need to secure these again. Because I don't need these straps, because they just come out right now. Maybe they just need new bolts. I really don't know what the issue is. Uh, that's why I'm here right now. I'm gonna figure out what the issue is and get this sorted out. We got one layer of paint 
on the frame back here so it's looking a lot better. I might put a second layer on today. It's looking a lot better. Now it's not a professional sandblast and paint job. I had the truck nicely cleaned at Large Car Truck Spa, right? Have you called them for your appointment yet? Large Car Truck Spa in Winkler, Manitoba. So it was perfectly beautifully cleaned, right? So I took advantage of the fact that the frame was clean, took some degreaser to it, got it even cleaner just in case, let it dry, and then I just sprayed on a layer of uh, top coat paint onto the whole thing because I was tired of it looking so rusty. And I don't have the money right now for the full sandblast and paint job. Hopefully soon, but you know, there's a few other things to take care of first. For now, I mean, I feel better about it anyways. So anyway, this one and that one on that side, that is the project for today. I have to get this done. I have to figure out what's going on with this. So here's the problem. That's the uh, bolts and that's the washers. <laughs> that's not gonna work. It's getting pretty rough here too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build braces across inside here, across from here to here, and there to there to use the strongest part of it to support it. Then I'm gonna get new bolts. They'll be a little bit longer. There'll be braces on the inside, right? And I'm gonna bolt the brace on from the inside, like on the bottom of the box, in here. I'm gonna, it'll be like a brace across there like that, right? From inside, and then we'll bolt it onto this frame here. And that will secure it. I'm making good use of my impact here, finally. <laughs> I actually have a legit reason to use it now. So that's, that's been helping out a lot getting these bolts. These bolts are really hard to get off. There's no way I can get these bolts off by hand. So, Thanks, Makita. This one's got the same problem. Same problem as the other one over here. <coughs> I'm gonna have to replace these soon, but I can still make these last a bit longer. Because you can see the frame has weakened this side here, right? But this here is still strong. So is this here. So what we're gonna do again on this one, build a brace on the inside across there and across there, taking advantage of this strong steel in the center here. We'll screw them back on nice, good and tight. And they'll last a few more years yet. I will need to replace them eventually, but I have so many plans for the back of this truck. Like I wanna stretch this frame out, right? I'm gonna put another two feet on here eventually. Who knows when that's gonna happen though. So for now, I'm gonna make use of what I have. It's cheaper to fix them than to buy brand new ones. A lot cheaper. Okay, I am late for my dentist appointment. I set an alarm, two, two alarms on my phone. Neither of them went off. So I obviously had them set to silent or something. Like a crazy person. So I gotta go, I got a dentist appointment. Better? I don't know. I don't mind dentist appointments. I kind of, I kind of like getting my teeth cleaned. Just afterwards, my mouth feels funny. <laughs> okay, so now the the dentist appointment uh, is taken care of. Luckily, they were okay with me being like 15 minutes late. Oh, I'm so tired of being late all the time. But uh, the clock in the shop must be wrong, and my alarms didn't go off. Still, there's no excuse. I'll have to make sure that that doesn't happen next time. My next appointment is in six months. So for now, uh, we've got 
a few things to go pick up at EG Penner, which is our building supply center here in town. I'm gonna go and pick up a couple of new bolts uh, to bolt those things in, and it should be another hour or two of work, and I should be able to have those storage boxes re-secured onto the frame on the truck. All right, well, like usual, it's taking a lot longer than I expected. I took my glasses off because it kept getting full of dirt. So I can see well enough to just work without them. Fine. They're right there on top of all the other dirt. Perfect place for them. They will definitely, definitely not get damaged or wrecked here. So we're safer. But I want to show you uh, my solution. I am three quarter of the way done. So this box has already been finished. Can you see it? Oh, it's kind of dark in there already. Okay, so if you can't see it, there's two by six. So remember I did that project for my son. I built that little patio deck outside his playhouse and I had some extra two by six left over. Well, I put them to good use. I cut a piece that's good enough to go from this side here, from there to there. I drilled holes through and I got new bolts. So this is working just perfect. Now, in order for uh, these pieces of wood not to rot in here, I've also screwed in about three quarters of an inch of steel, uh, stainless steel on both sides underneath it. I'll have to show you. That way it has room to breathe and the wood won't rot. So the water will be able to drain out and it won't even really touch the wood much. The wood will dry right away, but the two by six is working well. And this is what I mean by that. So that goes on the bottom. So this wood never actually sits on the bottom of this box. Right, I've got those holes drilled through on here and there and with some uh, washers. I'll throw that in there, screw it down, and that'll hold everything down. I already got one in there. I just got one more to do, and then uh, we're done. We just have to load these boxes back up. This should fit just perfect in here. Look at those bolts through there. Screwed in down there, screwed in down there, has breathing room beneath it. I guess now for uh, the ultimate test. Fixed. Both sides. Well, one last tighten. We're good to go. You know, I had a nice, neat, and organized desk. And then Theo started to walk around and grab everything. And now I have to keep everything up off the floor. And everything out of the drawers. Like, we can't have anything in these drawers. Just like things that he can grab here, too. So anything that was in here is either now up here or up there, but he's getting pretty tall. He can grab some of these and open them already. Uh, I could keep the door closed so that he doesn't come in here, but I like it when he comes in there when I'm editing and stuff. Shibby! How you doing? You have a good day? <laughs> is that your couch? You want to show everybody your couch? Yeah! Yeah, wow. Whoa. Is it cold out? Yeah. No, it's a bed. He's got his couch up here. He's got his chair downstairs. 
Yeah. You need a little sibling to share this all with, don't you? I wish we had some better news. We don't have any news yet. Chevy? Good boy. We still have that one embryo from our first uh, IVF retrieval. And we're uh, hoping to do the transfer, which would be the implantation of that last embryo soon. Next month, we're thinking maybe, in September 2024. So if that one works out as well as the last one did, then that means we would be having our next one early next summer. How you doing, Diesel, old man? His back hips are starting to give him a lot of problems. But he's still doing all right. Needs a little bit of help up the stairs sometimes. Retirement's treating you well, eh? Hey, that's not your toy. You're supposed to be playing with Chevy with that. It's not for you to take from him. You take Chevy's toy? Pick it up and throw it for Chevy. Throw, Throw it for Chevy. Chevy. Chevy, go get him. Go get him. No, don't. You throw it down. Chevy can't go down the stairs with the gate there. You know what? Here. Theo, if you go over there, I'll send Chevy down to go get it. Come here. Hey, Chevy. Go get your ball. Why does he always throw it down here? It's scary down here. Guys. Did you get it, Chev? Did you get it? Come on. Bring your ball up. Get get your toy. Get your toy, bring it up. Get your toy. Come on. Bring Come it on. here. Good boy. Good <laughs> boy. And the rest of our boys are too old to do stairs at all. Diesel can't do stairs at all anymore. And Wiener, wherever he is, oh, he's over here. He's, well, his legs are too short in the first place. But uh, he probably could, but. We prefer he doesn't. Yeah. But anyways, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. We got a lot of work done in the shop. Got the truck ready to go. One more night. I'm leaving tomorrow after supper. So I'm going to put the camera down now and enjoy the rest of my time at home. I'll see you guys tomorrow.